Hello world, this is Dennis, and I have another unboxing video for you. I've got a, another package from Japan uh, from Furuta Mitsuhi Mitsuhiko. Um, as you recall from... Oh wait, I don't know if I did a video for that other package. Well, anyhow, um, it's a guy from Japan uh, that I like to order stuff from on eBay. And uh, it's another diorama, like my... 1964 Godzilla or Mothra vs. Godzilla diorama. So let's uh, open this up. Let's see here. Okay. And as usual, on the inside here, there's a letter from him, which I always appreciate. That's why I keep uh, coming back and purchasing stuff from this guy's. Uh, eBay store, thank you very much always. I am wishing you are pleased with this figure too. Maido Arigato Gozai Mashita from Furuta Mitsuhiko. Always like that. And yes, I will buy something from him again after G Fest. That is correct. I am going to G Fest for the first time this year. Um, July, or yeah, July 10th, which is a Friday. Go spend the whole day there, and then um, once the Symphonic Fury concert is over, I'm gonna be heading home. Oh, cool! Newspaper from Japan. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Oh, it's even got cartoons in here. <laughs> nice. Yes, I am easily amused. Check out my Japan hat. <laughs> I've had this for years, and uh, this is what I'm going to be wearing to G-Fest. Okay. So, open this. As always, um, expertly packed. Does a very good job, considering it's not in its original packaging. So, yeah, this is appreciated. Okay. Okay. Well, here's the little stand, and if you just give me a second here, let me uh, pop the, uh, oh, well, this is the first, it's uh, not pre-assembled, so I'm going to have to uh, put this together, but luckily the stuff just all snaps together, so it shouldn't be too hard. looks real simple. It's not like a X Plus where you gotta heat the thing up and there we go. Okay, that's on there. Then, bingo! Okay. Now, as a kid growing up, obviously I watched a lot of the Shoah films. Oh, that seems kind of dark. Where's my little flashlight? And, um, obviously... Um, the majority of the suits I like are from the Showa period. Well, except for, like, the GMK suit, but, um, let's see here. How well does this show up? Uh, da -da -da -da, maybe like this. Uh, that doesn't seem to help. Okay. Lighting issues. Let's see if that helps. Well, that helps a little bit. But, um, this is another one of my favorite designs. This is the 1975 Godzilla suit from Terror of Mechagodzilla, which is basically the same suit that they've been using since uh, Godzilla vs. Megalon. Just, you know, they made some adjustments, in my opinion. Um, he, looks a he looks a bit uh, meaner. So, glad to add this to my collection. Very nice. I like these... Uh, little dom dioramas like I said in the last video um, it's a really accurate suit design um, they don't really skimp on the quality because you would think with something small like this it would look like a you know cheap piece of crap or you know the the suit won't, doesn't look accurate but as you can tell here with as best as I can get the lighting um, he looks like the Godzilla from Terror of Mechagodzilla so Another great addition to my uh, collection. Can't wait to uh, see what I'm going to find next week at G-Fest. So I'm going to move my Godzilla figures on top of my Radio Shack 
DX394 over to add him. And if you guys don't mind a little shaky shaky, let me uh, grab the webcam here and move it so you guys can see what he looks like. And the screensaver's kicked in, so I can't see what this looks like. Okay, there we go. So there we go. We got the 1964 diorama on top of the speaker from my realistic DX160. And now here's the 1975 Terror of Mechagodzilla Godzilla diorama on top of my Radio Shack DX394A. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, peace and all that good stuff.